Future me, hi there. I forgot to do an intro for this video. So today I am building two bioactive enclosures uh, for two new animals that I am picking up at the Tinley Park Reptile Expo in Chicago about a week a week from Saturday. So like nine days. Really excited. It's my first time going to Tinley, so I'm really excited for that too. I'm getting two lizards uh, actually from Snake Discovery. So. Leave in the comments below what you think those two lizards might be. A uh, hint for you, they are both semi-arboreal. It's the only hint that you're getting. But yeah, so that's what today's video is. Just forgot to do an intro. And the first thing I had to do was I had to paint the sides of the enclosures. So cut to me painting enclosures. Uh, so if you haven't done this before, I'm using tape. I actually don't have any electrical tape. And this is like the only day I'll really have a window to do this. Sun's going down, so I don't have a lot of time to go to the hardware store. So I'm just using duct tape for now. It'll be fine, though. If there's some extra duct tape residue, I can just scrape it off with my scraper. I use that to get the whole background out of this enclosure. Uh, since we're still not entirely sure how the gecko died, we're almost positive that it was old age, um, according to the vet. We just don't want to... We want to play it extra safe and don't want to use things the same as I did with her. So this is going to be completely sterilized and steam cleaned, uh, like I did to the enclosure in the last video. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and paint these sides. Alrighty, so that is drying now. Once that dries, I'm going to take it upstairs and I'm going to start foaming. Probably going to do the foaming on Thursday and setting up the enclosure all on Thursday, which is when this video will be coming out. Yeah, so... I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna have from this side, yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. As it turns out, I'm going to be starting to foam today instead of Wednesday, because for one, I'd like the foam to have enough time to dry. Now, if I do that on Wednesday, uh, I mix up my work schedule and I don't get off when I thought I get off on Wednesday. I get off like three hours later so if I do that, then I'll have to wait later in the day on Friday to start, or on Thursday to start carving and siliconing and putting coconut fiber on the background. And if I do that, then this video won't be up on time. So <laughs> I'm a little bit of a tight schedule with this enclosure. All right, so before I start foaming, I'm going to clean off these sticks and branches. And that was in with my flying gecko, so I'm gonna clean that off. Uh, really well, same way I would with you know, the rest of the sticks, just in case there's anything still on it, which I doubt there is, but just to be safe. So I'm going to mix this with hot water and bleach and come back to it in about half an hour. So as you can see, I got this piece of cork in here. I'm just gonna let all this foam set. It's starting to harden already. It probably won't take that long. 
because uh, I just put a thin layer of it around and I this was kind of falling apart so I put a little extra foam up top. Um, I might have to, to get back there, I might have to, because I can't really get my hands back there very well, I might have to take out, uh, one of these sticks. Um, I'm gonna try to not have to do that, uh, when I'm doing that section of the background, but that just might be what has to happen. I'm gonna try and carve this down low enough, too, where I can kind of reach back there, even if I can only get, like, two fingers back there. Or maybe, maybe I can even get like a brush or something that I can reach back. But right now I'm going to work on this enclosure. So I'm going to, I'm, I am not going to show a full time lapse of carving these because that would be super boring. But one of the techniques I'm going to try is using uh, this Dremel with the wire head. This is something you know, I saw Will Nace do with a bigger, um, he used a drill head that had a wire brush attachment on it. I'm just going to turn it on low and scrape some away. Kind of like that. Um, I'm probably not going to do that for a whole for the whole thing if it keeps making really big ruts like that, uh, really big craters. But yeah, so I'll catch back with you guys when it's carved. Okay, I have finally finished the carving. Uh, biggest concern so far is this corner is kind of starting to peel off. So when I silicone the background, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone in there and stick it to the back. Uh, if you're wondering about like these holes and things, I'm going to be... Or the mixture that I'm going to be using for this is uh, coconut substrate. Uh, organic tops from a little bit of sand and I'm going to fill in those bits with uh, moss so that you won't like, like right there, I'm going to put some moss in that hole uh, so they're not as noticeable. But yeah, now is to do this one. <laughs> Alrighty, so both of these enclosures are completely foamed. Everything is pretty secure. A few branches could it's still a little wobbly, but it's fine. When I silicone the moss, and I'm going to stick that to it as well. Uh, this enclosure is also completed. I think they both look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out so far. I'm going to take a short break. Um, oh, yeah, there is a big, a really big patch back here where foam didn't get to the bottom of it very well, but that's fine. I'm just going to put some extra silicone on that bit and put a lot of moss in that spot so you can't really see it uh but yeah so next step is another step that i'm really not going to film doing because it takes a long time to uh take silicone and uh squeeze the silicone out onto the foam then using your hands with gloves on of course you rub that in and then dump uh, your substrate mix on the back Alrighty, so I finished carving the foam, I finished siliconing and putting the substrate on. There's a couple of spots that are not perfect, but it's it's alright. <clears throat> Especially for something that's not going to be these animals' permanent homes. Um, like there's a spot in the back that I just kind of put some moss on top of this morning. But I think that they look really good. I'm really happy with how they turned out, so... Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lava rock and I'm going to make the drainage layer. Self before 
So here are my two finished products. Uh, this one I have a snake plant and another plant I can't remember the name of. I'll put it uh, in the description if I remember what plant it is or if I can find it online. But yeah, so this enclosure I'm really happy with. I wanted to make sure that both of these enclosures had some branches where the animals can get kind of close to the front uh, when I'm feeding them. For the cork, it goes all the way down and you can go in and out the bottom or the top, whichever he wants. This is not fertilizer, by the way. That's like a little bit of perlite uh, or vermiculite. Can't remember which one. Not gonna cause any harm at all. Yeah, so on to the second enclosure. This of the two might be my favorite. Uh, there's a mother-in-law's tongue and another one of those other plants I can't remember the name of. But yeah, it has the really big piece of cork in the back. Um, some nice, some nice bigger clumps of moss in this one at the edges of the branch. Again, branch coming down so that uh, the animal can get closer to the front. But yeah, so I am really, really happy with how these turned out. Um, only things left to do in these enclosures, uh, this is just one 18 inch um, hood with a standard T8 LED bulb in it. I'm gonna get, at the Tinley Park Show, I'm gonna get two uh, 12 inch Exoterra terrarium hoods, which is what these are, and put UVB bulbs in those, as well as getting uh, two smaller dome lamps and putting uh, basking bulbs in both of those. So yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video in any capacity, please click like if you haven't done so already. Highly consider subscribing to the Reptileverse. New videos every Thursday and occasionally a couple of shorts throughout the week. And be sure to join me back next week uh, for a really exciting video that I'm actually really excited to film. So, that's all. Peace out, YouTube.